Good morning, Coconino. Are you ready to raise your pulse? You are now entering the no-fly zone. I'm Connor Bracken. And I'm Josh Ferrer. Today is February 24th, and here are your announcements. You know what? I've been here longer than you have, so don't you think I should do something more than just, I don't know, introduce myself? Well, yeah, you just stand there and look pretty, mostly clueless, and uh, I stand here and I'll, you know, entertain. Well, wouldn't that be hard for you since I do both? Uh, just read the announcements, huh? Calling all junior girls. Come to the counseling office and check out Girl State. That's right. What's funner than, you know... Josh, no, 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 no. It's more fun. Well, what's funner than educational an educational seminar on Americanism and government activity? Give them the deets, Connor. In order to qualify, you must be a junior girl who has demonstrated leadership, citizenship, community service, and participation in our community. Uh, this takes place from June 4th to the 10th. There will be transportation to and from Girl State. Where's that? It's in Tucson. Okay, not only this, but CHS will contribute $100 of the fee and $200 will be covered by the American Legion Auxiliary. 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 Auxil. Something like that. King Richard. Ah. Uh. One delegate and one alternate will be selected from all applicants. Applications must be returned to the CHS Counseling Department by February 24th at 2.30. Mrs. Bouvier, the CHS Counseling Secretary, has the application. Hey UAP students, now is the time to sign up for advanced placement testing. Each test is $93 and you can sign up now in the bookstore. Deadline for sign-ups is March 10th. Get your, uh, no, no, see your AP teachers, Ms. Paula Wright or Ms. Chelsea Lohr for more uh, details and inquire about a possible fee reduction. So sign up today. Hey Connor, you know who's been balling? Oh, you know Katie and Russell Westbrook? Nah, they be beefing. They're on some hard times. Yeah, they're beefing, but JJ be cooking. Oh yeah? They be serving up steaks medium rare left and right. And But you're vegan. Okay, well here's Jade and Joe with gl a gluten-free panther sport. A gluten-free panther sport. Guys, I'm Joseph Vina. And I'm Jade Montalongo. And this is Panther Sports. My phone's collapsed. Uh. Dude, we are finally into spring. You know what that means? No. Great weather. What about your pasty legs? Oh. All right. And spring sports. Well, we had two games this week, and our softball and baseball team had an invitational. The girls' basketball is still killing it. They came home with another win at the state tournament against Cactus Cobras last week with a final score of 52 to 41. That puts us at third in the final four. The final four is made up of the four best teams in our state in our division. Cactus Cobras is first, seeding Catholic is second, we're rep in third, and well, Flag High is at fourth. And Joe and I went down to Copper Canyon High School to watch our varsity girls as we vlogged our journey. I think, I think he made a type like Oh yeah, because I'm Joe. I'm Joe. Um, hey, what's up guys? It's Panther Sports here. And we're heading down to Copper Canyon. We'll keep you updated on this game. All right, see you guys then. We're here at Copper Canyon High School right now. Uh, it gets probably, what time is it? It's like 5.02, 5. 5. Then he goes, and so Alex, people around the school have been saying you're the girls' number one fan. How do you feel about that? Pretty amazing. Just, you know, I'm out here to support the girls, and I quit the, the wrestling team just so because I can watch these girls, and it really brings my heart to joy because these girls are made to the final four. How do you feel about them being in our fin in the final four? It's pretty amazing. You haven't been in the final four since 1980s, I heard. Yeah. But ever great. since then, well, we're here now. Hopefully, we can make it even more better or stay or just overall win it all together. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Go Panthers! Hey guys, I'm here with JJ's mom, and how do you feel about your daughter's performance on the court uh, so far all this year? Oh my gosh, she just amazes me on the court. You know, she loves the game so much, and she puts everything into it, and she just allows me. I Awesome. Well, with that being said, how do you feel about her taking her talents to Pima College? Um, I feel really excited for her. Um, it's always something that she's been talking about and working hard for. So for her to take it to the next level is, you know, a big accomplishment for her and for us as parents too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Sad loss 
today. It was 59 to 16, but our girls did so good all year long. It's just sad to see them lose, and I know they worked so hard throughout their entire season, and we're just so proud of them. Like, I have no idea how to explain it. I'm just way proud of them. What do you have to say, Joe? I'm proud. I've, I've watched them all the way since day one, and it was a journey, man. It was dope, but too bad they couldn't finish it, but we're still proud of them. Hey, props, props. They might have finished number three in the season, but they're number one in all of our hearts. Thank you, guys. Well, anyway, it was a good game. Now let's move on to tennis. Tennis has their first match today against Cactus Shadows. Be sure to wish the girls luck as they hunt down the Falcons. Meanwhile, the softball field yesterday, they went down to the Rio Vista Park for the first game of the Sunrise Mountain Invitational. Today, they will be playing two more games as part of their Invitational against the Cactus Cobras and Pinnacle Pioneers. Well, Joe, Tuesday, baseball swings their way into their first game against Bradshaw Mountain over on their field. And softball's schedule is flipped, so they, start, they have their first home game of the season against the Bradshaw Bears. Meanwhile, on the tennis courts, they go away to crush the Desert Eagle Scorpions. Thursday, baseball goes against the Bears again, but this time we play at home. In softball, they travel to Bradshaw's home field. And tennis is finna put the backspin on the Sierra Linda Bulldogs as well. To end next week, on Friday, baseball goes away to the Thunderbird Chiefs home field to steal a win. Softball, they hand is gonna have home field advantage. They slap a win on their record. And that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Ant Sports. Now, now back, back to headquarters. headquarters. That's great. I'm definitely going to learn from that. Well, anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Be great and don't hesitate. Actually, before we go, we'll put the recurring announcements at the end of the post because we care. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you're so right. We hope you enjoy your Friday. Be safe. And remember, face, face your, your fears, fears, Panthers. Rawr! Dude, we're already... <laughs> yeah? Guess we are. What? <laughs> I said, do we already? Why? Shut up. Three, two... Dude, we're finally into spring. The great weather. How much of it? Just read it however you're reading it before, because I messed up when I wrote this. <laughs> we're finally into spring. The great weather. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Thursday, baseball plays against the Bears against the on. Ooh, against, against 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 the Bears again. Okay. Calling all junior girls. Tunka. Uh. Hey, hey, Connor. You know who's been balling? Uh, KD and Russell Westbrook. I'm gonna start just. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm pretty... Oh, that's on camera? Oh, That's that's not going to be nice to anybody here. Oh. All right, let's, let's go again. Let's go again. All right. All right.